On the eve of opening day for the Bombers, a matchup with the Strohs in Houston, GM Brian Cashman and company made a smart move today. Yes, they gave the good old college try starters Jordan Montgomery, Blake Snell, who both signed with NL West teams. The rotation for the Bombers still an issue with Garrett Cole expected to miss the first two months of the year. In a three-team deal, the Yankees acquired utility infielder John Birdie from the Miami Marlins. Yankees parted away with catcher Ben Rortfett, who was out of options, who went to the Rays. Outfield prospect John Cruz was moved to the Miami Marlins. The Yankees need a third baseman with D.J. LeMahieu starting the season on the I.L. with a bone bruise right foot in birdie. The Yankees acquired a 34-year-old veteran who hit 294 a year ago in 133 games. He could play third base second and short. A better option for the Yankees to play third base regularly until LeMahieu returns than in-house candidate Oswaldo Cabrera. The trade would also lead you to believe that the Yankees think it will take some time before D.J. is able to return to the lineup after fouling that ball off of his foot 10 days ago. Birdie, a right-handed bat signed through 25, can play multiple position, makes contact, his speed, good defender at third. This was certainly a progressive move by the Bombers. Birdie can help him now and gives the Yankees an insurance policy should the injury bug, which has hampered LeMahieu for the past three years, continue to linger once again this year. The Yankees failed to make another splashy move before the start of the season in failing to sign a starting pitcher. Today's trade flies under the radar, but fills a glaring need for the Bombers to start the season, which gets going tomorrow in Houston against the Strohs. Nestor Cortez on the mound, 405 start. We'll be locked in. Until next time, New York, I'm Mark Malusis.